Hello boys and girls. So what you're going to need today is a pencil and your sketchbook. If you don't have your sketchbook, you can go ahead and grab a blank piece of paper because what we are doing today is practicing our geometric shapes and our freeform shapes. So you can go ahead and open to your first blank paper that you have in your sketchbook. So first, let's split our paper into two pieces. I'm going to draw a line down the middle. Good. On this side, I'm going to draw geometric shapes. So I'm going to write that. You don't have to. Here's where I'm going to draw my geometric shapes. And here's where I'm going to draw my free form shapes. Okay, so on the side that is my geometric, let's practice drawing some. So let's start with some easy ones, maybe a circle. So go ahead and draw a circle. Next, let's practice a square. So I'm going to draw down, over, up, and back over. Remember the difference between a shape and a line is that a line its ends are open. For a shape, you need to close both those ends for it to be a shape. So if you noticed, I made nice straight lines for my square, and all the sides are the same length. So for me to make it into a rectangle as opposed to a square, two sides would be longer. So I'll show you. I'm going to go down. Now that's a line. Over. And look how much longer that is. See, it's still a line. And go up and try and make it the same size as that one. And I'm going to go all the way back over and close up my shape. So go ahead and practice a rectangle. I can practice an oval. I can practice a triangle. Triangles have three sides. Let's practice some freeform shapes. A clover would be a freeform shape. So like clovers, like as in clover bank, I would do like a big bump like that. A big bump on this side. A big bump on this side. And then my tail to close up that shape. That one's tricky. Give it a shot though. Another shape could be a paint puddle. So I would just make kind of this weird squiggly line that closes. See, this wouldn't really have a name. That's why it's a free form shape. Next, let's kind of combine straight lines with some curvy lines and make your own free form shape out of the both. So maybe I'll start with it going like this. Then maybe this side is kind of squiggly. Then maybe this side closes up with a squiggle. Now that shape isn't really anything. I wouldn't have a name for that shape, but I could call it whatever I wanted to. Great job. So for our project, we're going to be creating buildings using geometric shapes and dinosaurs using our freeform shapes. Now, for our city, our buildings would be made out of geometric shapes because if our buildings were made out of freeform shapes, they'd be really wobbly and they would not stand up nice and strong. So, over here we can practice drawing some buildings. So I'm gonna use like a rectangle shape for the size of my building. So I'm gonna go up, nice and straight, over, back down. Oops, that one got a little wiggly. I can erase it if I need to. Go back down nice and straight and close up your bottom. Now you can practice drawing different size buildings. Now, right now they just look like rectangles. We need to give them something to make them look like buildings. So we're missing doors, because how else are you gonna get into your building? And windows. 
So I'm going to add a rectangle for my door. I could have square windows inside my rectangle. Could even have oval windows, but maybe I'll keep these ones square for now for this building. Maybe this one has circle windows, because I think that would look cool. There we go. That's my practice buildings. Now for my dinosaurs. I'm going to use my geometric shapes to build, put them together to make my freeform outline. So let me, let me explain. If I wanted to draw a T-Rex, or I'm sorry, if I wanted to draw a pterodactyl, a pterodactyl is my flying dinosaur, and I'll put pictures up of those dinosaurs, but its head is actually like a triangle. So I'm going to draw a triangle like that. I'm going to do two lines down, which would be like a rectangle for his neck. His body can be a circle. And I'm attaching all of these shapes. And his wings would be these big triangles. Okay, so that would be his body. Now what I can do is actually I'll use a black crayon. If I go around the outside of all of those shapes, it'll make a freeform shape. So see how this outline here turns into this giant building blocks of a pterodactyl. Then you can add your eyeball in your mouth or your legs from there. But do you see how it's almost like building blocks? You stack all of these different geometric shapes and you can make freeform shapes from those building blocks to create a freeform. So I know this isn't the most perfect pterodactyl, but we'll work more on this next week. So all you have to do today is practice your geometric buildings and practice some freeform shapes. If you are not great at this, Hey, look at mine. Mine is not the greatest in the world either, but that is okay because we are learning, we are practicing. So give it a shot. Don't get frustrated and try your best. I will see you next week, my friends.